Oh, well, hello, everybody. We have December 29th, 1997 up today. For member Flip Berger, this was the show that got him into the band. Thanks to his buddy Tilson, his friend Woods, they sent him down a path that was, uh, well, the correct path. Well, let's see here. Now, look, now, if this was the show that got you into the band, you're like, all right, I guess they're a rock and roll band after the start to the show. You know, like maybe you were a Frank Zappa fan. I don't know, Flip Burger, but uh, I know early on with me and Fish, that was kind of the feel I got. I was like, okay, they're a rock and roll band, I guess. But by the time you got down here through this antelope, you were probably like, I don't know, what are these guys? So, NICU and Golgi, a good start. Not even really Golgi. You got to throw Crossroads in there as well because, the, you know, the move from Golgi over to Crossroads felt pretty good there, the Robert Johnson classic. Show recently had Crossroads in there. You know, I guess I had forgotten how often Crossroads was covered or it just is a coincidence. I'm not sure. I didn't actually look. And NICU and Golgi, both nice, good way to start the show. And then if there was any low point, which not really a low point, it was nice. The cars, trucks, and buses, train song. <laughs> I see what you did there. Now, unfortunately, pillow jets might be coupled with these two. And, uh, but that was about it. Even Dirt, from, you know, they had to slow down after Fluffhead and No Antelope was coming. So, you know, Dirt certainly needed there. No real weak points in the first set, you know. Um, what were the strong points, you ask? Were you asking that? You were like, all right, there's no weak points. What about Fluffhead and Antelope, man? You kind of zoomed right over those. And Theme from the Bottom. Theme from the Bottom, uh, you know, maybe not in the Hall of Fame category. We got many of those tonight. Uh, theme from the Bottom, very good, though. Kind of just have it like it didn't even feel like a slow build. It just felt like all of a sudden we were there in that one. And then Fluffhead coming in. Feeling like, you know, not necessarily anything too crazy, but just everything played really well. You know, once they got past the bundle of Fishman section, kind of just really jamming that part out. Yeah, you know, taking us from a, you know, maybe a 12, 13 minute fluff head, adding a few extra minutes on as they like to kind of jam that final section there. Then like, a, and the crowd just absolutely going nuts. The intensity picking up throughout Fluffhead. If we didn't necessarily get that in theme, then Dirt had to calm down. And then only to give way to a big antelope. Kind of the same thing in antelope. Uh, didn't reach the status of the Fluffhead, but again, a really good one. And um, didn't quite, like I said, didn't, you know, nothing. This is 1997. They had the ability to take things wherever they wanted, but uh, they were kind of staying type one here, but just really a strong type one. But maybe pick, picking a uh, picking, picking a section or so in a song and just kind of really giving it a little extra attention. Leading to a, very, you know, a very good first set here. Then we get over here to the Down With Disease. We're going to start to explore a little bit, but it took them a while. You know, maybe we're probably 10 minutes or so into this one, and it still feels like I was starting to be like, you know, what? I don't remember what did I love about this one so much. But then you see, you know, really, they get, they kind of get into a low, quiet funk jam a little bit. And then by the end, it kind of had gotten heavy. I mean, I mean, almost. There was like an old heavy metal Wilson they played at one point. Trey's tone was bordering on that in the uh, Down With Disease. And then we go over to David Bowie, possibly winning out of all the Hall of Famers. You know, crowd reaction and just pop overall, maybe fluff head. But the Bowie, while the same, you know, same as these as far as kind of keeping it in bounds, just paying a little extra attention, they maybe slightly got a little out of Bowie. There may have been a brief moment where you were asking, is this still Bowie? Then in the possum, which could have been, you know, you know, while these songs over here may not be high up on my list of favorites, I, I certainly don't dislike them. But Possum 1, you know, I'm bordering on like, I just, I've heard too much of it. I don't even want to say I dislike it. It's just, you know, there's some songs after so many years you get a little sick of. And then, uh, but like, look at this, they get a little fancy with Possum tonight. Perhaps you could have went times two on both of these, you know, but I'm just for the sake of the whiteboard, making it a little cleaner, saving a little Sharpie ink, you know. We go Possum, I Can't Turn You Loose, the Otis Redding song. No other signs of Otis Redding, though. No, no picture of Otis Redding. Yeah, yeah. Taken just before Tube jams out. I mean, this thing, that's what we don't get very often anymore is a jammed out tube. You know, reminiscent of the 97, um, the Nutter Center tube, and just a lot of tubes throughout 97, really. And uh, it was like, you know, if over here, you know, like the, some of these parts, it was just kind of chill, you know, maybe some low head bobbing, you know, still kind of funky. But this one, you just couldn't help yourself, man. You're just going to have to dance to that. If I commented yesterday, I'm not dancing to Prince Caspian, certainly dance into that. In public, maybe, you know, taking it down a notch, perhaps, right? It's just me and the cat in here right now. 
he certainly doesn't care. And then yet another you enjoy myself. The vocal jam, kind of chill on the vocal jam this time, thankfully. Cut me some slack there. It's like five, six out of the last seven shows or something now. A YEM has popped up. You get a YEM. Does everybody get a YEM at their first show? You know, a lot of people had a first, you know, it's like they, they played YEM a lot. Uh, some, you, you, you're sure you're, one of the shows had to be your first, you know, if you've gone to one. So, then you know, post-trampolines, everything leading up to that was pretty good, pretty normal. And then uh, post-tramps, it wasn't really like, all right, Trey's going to rip it. We'll jam a little, drift over into, uh, you know, a rendezvous with Mike. We didn't really get that. We get, a, you know, similar to the, the, the low, low level uh, funk jamming we got in Down With Disease. It's what we got out of this YEM. Maybe finishing fourth, not on the uh, medalist stand out of the Hall of Famers. You know, Bowie probably taking the gold, the silver, the bronze. You enjoy myself feels like, wait a minute, I got stiffed by the Russian judges. What is going on here? Good times, bad times. Ended with a little Led Zeppelin. You know, Fish should just say, hey, man, we wrote that song. I mean, Led Zeppelin did it all the time. They should do it. I'd be like, that's our song. Written by Fishman, Anastasio, Marshall, McConnell. We'll give McConnell a credit. Why not? Gordon. Or they could just blame it all on uh, Jeff. If the case all goes to hell and they get sued. All right, Flip Burger. Woodsy, Tilson, you guys ever call him Woodsy? I just did. I don't know why. Then we'll go, Tilson. All right, man. So good selection. A great show. We have, I believe it is uh, October 23rd, 1996 coming up next, I believe. And then we're going back into 09. So all right, guys. I'm excited about this uh, 96 show. I believe that was the date. Sorry. Horrible with dates. I got to get out of here. We've been going too long with unnecessary stuff. Boom. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.